whatever situation or circumstances you find yourself in life, the divine touch of God is always available to turn things around positively. Papa prayed for me here and he touched me. When I got back, it didn't take a long time. I had a call from Abuja that my name is among those that have been promoted. I came in with two stars. That two star is assistant superintendent of police, and this one is DSP, deputy superintendent of police. Just one touch. Just one touch. Just one touch. Just a touch settles it all. My name is Dominic Mesa. I come from Ghana. Somewhere in 2009, I went through so many troubles. And the 5th of August 2009, I lost my wife. Three days, I spoke to my father on the phone, and he also passed. Afterwards, in a week, my cousin who was with me also passed. My financial administrator also passed after one month. A church that I had gathered around 400, I lost all my members. I fled to Accra to start another church. Three years, I had less than 20 congregations. Therefore, I traveled outside Ghana to the UK. Nothing happened. I came back empty handed. Then, one day, I fasted and said, God, you either tell me what is wrong with me or I die in my fasting. During that prayer, I had the word to go and switch my TV, my channel, and turn to channel 25. When I turned to channel 25, I saw our father, Prophet Jeremiah, a motive of prayer ministry. I left ministry for one year and entered into a business of selling used cars, and that one too, I lost everything. So after I saw you on TV, I had the word, look for this man, he will help you. So I, I had nothing in me, even in Ghana, I had to hide from my family because they would ask me money and I didn't have. So I had to borrow money from someone and I flee to Mercy Land. When I came, I, I went to Block B and I went to the mountains to pray and seek the face of God that God should show me mercy. I really wanted to know what was wrong with me. On the Sunday, in the night, I saw in a dream, I saw Prophet Jeremiah walking up to me in my hotel room. Then he said, stand up. Do you know why you are struggling? I said, I don't. He said, your, your former spiritual father, he was cursed. And his place is not upon. Do you remember the first word he said to you when he prayed for you? I said, I remember. And I remember that the first time I met my former spiritual father, he laid his hands upon me and said, I prophesy over you from this day, the kind of struggling I'm struggling, you will struggle the same. The kind of blessing I'll receive, you will receive, and my enjoyment you will enjoy. But he never enjoyed and struggled, and I also struggled. So he said to me, This, he was cursed, and he transferred the curse upon you. But after I touch you, your situation will change. After Papa, after the following morning, I went to the one-on-one. -on -one. As he saw me, he said, you had a dream about me? I said, yes. He said, don't worry. After I touch you, your situation will change, just as I saw in the dream. And after he touched me, in the flight going back to Ghana, I had a word, go and start a new ministry. I started the ministry. Within a space of six months, I was able to gather more than 100 congregations. Afterwards, our father came to Ghana, and he located me for the first time. And he said, you were cursed by your late spiritual father, but after you came to Mercy Land and I prayed for you, there is change, but he didn't come to testify you, oh my God. And Papa said, I'm going to touch you for the second time. And after I touch you, you operate in a higher speed like your father. You are owing God. Alors, tu dois au Seigneur. This man is owing God. Cet homme doit au Seigneur. He doesn't know why he's owing God. Il ne sait pas pourquoi. When I saw him, lorsque je vois cet homme, he carried the microphone, running here and there, on le preaching micro, the word of God, prêchant la parole du Seigneur de part et d'autre. And I saw something on your head. Et j'ai vu quelque chose sur sa tête. You are. This man is owing Jesus. Cet homme doit 
au Seigneur and Jésus. I asked in of the Spirit, Et j'ai posé la question à savoir why this man is praying Jesus pourquoi est-ce qu'il doit le Seigneur Jésus? Pourquoi est-ce qu'il doit yourself, you don't know. Il ne se connaît pas lui-même. But when I tell you openly before you will know. Que je you know why you are in Christ? I don't know, Papa. You don't know. You were ministering somewhere before. Yes, Papa. You were working under somebody before. Yes, Papa. And this man married. Yes, Papa. This man married to a wife. Yes, Papa. One year, two years, three years. This man did not give birth. Yes, Papa. It's true. As a man of God. It's true. And this man laid hand on you. Yes, Papa. After laying hand on you, as you took this man as your spiritual father. Yes, Papa. And something happened to you. Something happened to him. Yes, Papa. Number one. Something happened to his church. Yes, Papa. Five years. Yes, Papa. The church was just like that. You were thinking it was grace. Yes, Papa. And something happened. Yes, Papa. This man, after laying hand on you, your church that big, yes, Papa. the church just go. That's true, Papa. So also the man church, immediately the man church, the man church first go. Yes, Papa. The church just disappear. Man is true, Papa. Your own also disappear. Yes, Papa. It's true. Then. Something happened to your woman. Yes, Papa. She couldn't have what? She couldn't conceive. Conceive. Yes, Papa. So also the man that would lay hand on you, yes, he could, could not what? Conceive. conceive. That's true, Papa. Then the man church just disappeared. Yes, Papa. So also your church disappeared. <laughs> yes, Papa. I want to tell you why my aunt is about to touch you. I come back to him. You began to cry. Something happened to your brother. Yes, Papa. Something happened to your what? My brother. Your brother died. Yes, Papa. So also, the brother of that man died. Yes, Papa. It's true. His brother also died. Also died. Yes, Papa. You were crying for help because your choice has come. Your grace has come. Yes, Papa. You go, you've gone to Israel. Yes, Papa. I went to Israel. You went to Israel. Yes, Papa. It's true. When you returned from Israel, you were crying in your bedroom. Yes, Papa. You had a voice. Yes, Papa. Because your church, nobody, and people began to call you that even your brother had died, yes, that Papa. you are the one that killed your brother. That is true. Eh? That is and true. why is something that you don't know? They accuse you with things of nothing. And your August church that will lay hand on you has gone. Everything gone. They were, they, they were, then, eh? they were calling me Sakawa Sofo, meaning I used my wife and my brother and my father come for here, rituals. Come here, come here. The same time, something happened to his wife, your God wife. Yes. Eh? yes what happened to her? She passed away. She died. Yes, oh. The same thing happened to your wife. My wife what happened passed. to your wife? She died. Then, something happened to his father. Something happened to your father. My father died three days after my wife died. What happened to your ogre? The same thing. The same thing. Yes, Papa. After he lay hand on him, everything that happened to him also followed him. You cried to God. Who will be my helper? And you were looking around. Nobody to help you. One day in your house, in your room, yes. a voice came to you. Yes. Turn to Chanel 20. Yes. 20 what? 25. And you Chanel, you turned it. You saw a station. Mercy TV. 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 And the voice said, Go and meet that man. Go and look for this man. Go and look for this man. He is the only one who can set you free. He is the only one that who can what? Set me free. It's all you got. Are you enemy? All right, all right. You are owing Jesus. 
That is not all. Something happened again. You, you, you borrow money because no money to yes, go travel. Yes, you borrow money yes, and you've gone to worry. You enter into messes. Yes, yes, and you enter the mountains. Yes, Papa. I didn't talk to you. Yes, you were inside your hotel in your guest house. Yes, Papa. In the dream, the dream, a man appeared to you. You appeared to me. Appeared to you. You appeared to me. And I told you something. You told me something. What did I tell you? You told me that the reason why you are struggling is that your father was cursed and he released that curse upon you. That your spiritual you father was what? Was cursed. And that is why he released what? That curse upon That curse me. on you. Yes, Papa. That's why the same thing is happening to you. Whatever happened to him it also happened, happened to you. And you told me. And I told you. That in my 39th year, which is this year, is when I'm supposed to die. This is the year. That very year. That's the year because you're supposed to he die. died in his 39th year. The man died in his 39th year. The same, the, the same, the same year yes, Papa. that you came to Mercy City. Yes, Papa. That's the year you also supposed to die. Yes, Papa. But because you are here. Yes, Papa. Because you are here. You said, after I lay hands on you. After I lay hands on you. You will be free. You will be free. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. And in the morning, in the prayer line, what did I tell you? You told my son, you know already. Eh? You told me, my son, you know already. I said, you know already. No prophecy. Mm. No what? Prophecy. Because I told him, he was on the prayer line. And what did I do? I carry my hand. And you lay your hands on me. And I lay my hand on you. Yes, Papa. Someone say, what happened? Someone ask him, what happened to you? What happened you? to you? This man is owing Jesus with a testimony. A great testimony. Oh. When you return, when you return from worry to, to Ghana, what happened to your church? What happened to your ministry? What happened to your calling? My ministry started shooting up. Started what? Started shooting up. Started what? She started shooting up. Started shooting up. Yes, Papa. That our is ministry. Today, he is making it now. Put your hands together for Jesus. You never testify. You are owing Jesus. The Lord said, this man is owing me. This man's ministry is booming now. The Lord said, I is ready to bless you more. Yes, Papa. But you are sitting on top of his testimony. Oh, but today, the hour has come for you. Amen. Receive! Power! After Papa touched me, I started seeing visions, mentioning people's names, their birthdays, the number of children they have, just like my father. My ministry started shooting up. Afterwards, the grace started working and I was blessed with cars. I was blessed with properties, land, a house. And I can tell you that the grace of Papa is working in an extraordinary way in my life. My advice to viewers all over the world and especially ministers is that be careful with the person you call spiritual father. Because some spiritual fathers are more confused than yourself. You will have to locate a man that is operating in higher grace. The man who has testified. The man who has experienced grace. A grace that you cannot deny. Like our father, Prophet Jeremiah. Such a person, when you are with him, you can never feel. Alors, nous remercions le Seigneur, cher utilisateur, pour la vie de cette tombe. C'est un ministre de Dieu venant du Ghana. Alors, il a dit que par le passé, cher utilisateur, dû à cette affliction qu'il avait reçue par son premier père spirituel. Alors, ce père spirituel qui fut maudit, cher utilisateur, et avant de pouvoir commencer son ministère, cette même malédiction l'a vraiment... Euh, 
localisé également, ceci l'affligeait. Alors, tel qu'il a relaté, cher attestateur, lorsque son premier spiritu père spirituel avait perdu sa femme, lui également avait perdu sa femme, et lorsqu'il avait même perdu ses membres de famille également, c'était le même scénario qui se passait euh, dans sa vie. Et par la suite, il est même mort, cher attestateur, et l'église fut détruite, et c'est ce qui s'est passé également dans son église. Alors, jusqu'à ce que le Seigneur puisse avoir, puisse, euh, avoir vraiment mis les corps de lui, et qu'il puisse se révéler à lui, en lui dirigeant juste dans ce mystère à travers Merci TV, qu'il a essayé de faire la connaissance de l'homme de Dieu, et l'homme de Dieu a révélé euh, la racine de son problème par un message prophétique euh, qu'il a confirmé de vrai et l'homme de Dieu l'a imparté et après cette impartation cher attestateur il a dit que lorsqu'il est reparti euh, son ministère a commencé à prendre une allure lui qu'il avait même abandonné vraiment l'œuvre ministérielle pour aller faire des affaires pour aller vendre des voitures mais cela ne marchait pas mais le Seigneur a complètement changé le cours de sa vie changé sa vie ministérielle son église a commencé à s'étendre de partout aujourd'hui il est béni même avec des, des voitures et il a une parcelle de terrain son église les membres de son église ont accru et également il est même marié aujourd'hui et le Seigneur l'a tellement béni, il peut prophétiser de même et guérir, opérer textuellement comme l'homme de Dieu prophète Jérémie au Motofofé. Alors il est là aujourd'hui pour dire aux testateurs de faire attention à ce que nous appelons Père spirituel et que ce Père spirituel doit effectivement être ordonné par le Seigneur, ceci afin de nous propulser à une nouvelle dimension de vie. Approchons pour le Seigneur. So let your wonderful testimony be permanent, sir, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Touch is one of the five senses. We have the sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of smell, the sense of taste, and the sense of touch. Touch is generally having a bearing with something or somebody by contact or communication with the intention of getting a result intentionally or otherwise physically or spiritual. Whatever situation or circumstances you find yourself in life, the divine touch of God is always available to turn things around positively. Papa prayed for me here and he touched me. When I got back, it didn't take a long time. I had a call from Abuja that my name is among those that have been promoted. I came in with two stars. That two stars is assistant superintendent of police. And this one is DSP, Deputy Superintendent of Police. Just one touch. Just one touch. Just one touch. Just a touch settles it all. 